Hello everyone. So let's look at this question on change management. An IS auditor is evaluating. An IS auditor is evaluating the effectiveness of the change management process in an organization. What is the most important control that the IS auditor should look for to ensure system availability? Option number A: Changes are authorized by IT managers at all times. Option number B: User acceptance testing is performed and properly documented. Option number C: Test plans and procedures exist and are closely followed. Option number D: Capacity planning is performed as a part of each development project. So when we look at this question, what happens is that initially your focus will go in this term, which is change management process, and then and then you will start reading the options and. Then you will feel that okay here all the options are making sense okay and you may not understand which option to select and which option not to select okay so as I always say always focus on the keywords okay so in this question there are two keywords the first line is giving you the first keyword and the second line is giving you the second keyword the first line is giving you the first keyword which is what the question is talking about change management process and the second line is giving you the hint what is what is the most important control that the IS auditor should look should look where should look for during the change management process for to ensure what system availability so this is the key word there are two keywords here the question is talking about change management process plus system availability what what do we mean when we say system available it means system should not go down system should be up okay it should not crash right so after the, the change you know when the change gets implemented the system should not crash down the, there should not be any downtime okay this is what the question is so when you when you see the word availability always think about there should not be downtime it should be up and running right the system should not crash all right so here option number a is saying changes are authorized see changes should be authorized that's for sure but 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 they are saying by it managers at all times no in fact you know we have discussed that the changes can be authorized by what uh, by whom by even the business analyst business department people there is what there is change control board which carries the uh, uh, change management meetings you know uh, from time to time regularly right so there the changes would be approved right and you know it's not that only it manager and see when when they use these words you know like it managers should do all the times this is a hint that you know, this can never be the right, the right option because you know you cannot say a specific uh, you know department or a specific person to you know approve something all the times you know that cannot be possible right and so so these kind of options will never be the right option right so option number a that is changes are authorized yes changes should be authorized but by it managers all times no option number b user acceptance testing is performed and properly documented yes important user acceptance testing should be performed should be documented it's important it's critical but is it is it is it is it fulfilling my two conditions just by acceptance testing whether it will ensure that my system would remain available whether it will ensure that that that, that there won't be any downtime or the system crash no right so even though option b is right but it's not fulfilling my questions requirements right option number c is test plans and procedures exist and are closely followed yes this is the right option test plans and procedures exist and should be closely followed because when you are doing that testing that time itself you can check whether the you know how, how, what will be the reaction on the system for, for, because of that particular change after applying that particular change what will be the impact in the system right whether it is running properly whether it is having some issues downtime crashes bugs anything right so testing is going to help you that's the most important control option number d is saying capacity planning is performed as a part of this each development project again capacity planning is what what is capacity capacity means resource planning right uh, storage resources your hardware software requirements processing power so all those all those you know resources we are planning right so that is also important but 
just by planning the proper resources you know the my my resource requirement my storage processing power hardware requirement software requirement just by uh, understanding the requirement will it help me to ensure like the system will remain up and it won't crash no right see even even see capacity planning is important okay i'm not saying that option number d is not important option number d is also important right because you must understand like you know after bringing a change you know what would be the impact on my resource requirement right so that is something which we will plan for sure but then just planning just planning will make sure system availability no right the best option is you have to test because when you test when you have the test plans test procedures exist and you are doing the testing you are closely following the, the test the results of the test that's the thing which will make sure that your system re remains available so here question is not only talking about change management see if you only focus on the word change management process you will never understand what is the right option right in the exam hall you will never understand what exactly is the right option so you have to understand what exactly is the requirement so it's not only change management it is also what system availability so, so two terms are interlinked and are placed as a requirement and this is why the correct option over here is option number c which is test plans and procedures exist and are closely followed i hope everyone understood this question thank you